If God is all knowing and all wise, why in the world would he create Satan knowing what Satan is going to do? I know if I do something that I can either reasonably understand or expect a certain outcome, or if I know there's going to be a negative outcome or consequence and I do it anyway, then am I not guilty of doing that? And won't I be judged because of that? Would that be something foolish or wrongheaded of me to do? Well, for me, yes. But remember, I'm not God. I'm different than God. Here are some things about God that are unlike me. One, God is all knowing. God is all powerful. God is God is all loving. He is good and he is perfect. As a matter of fact, the Bible tells us this in Isaiah 55. He says that his ways for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. And so however he is, whatever he's thinking, he does things that just doesn't make sense to us. Why? Because he's God and we're not. Newsflash, there's one God. That's God and you're not him. And so sometimes we just won't know. So ultimately the answer to this question is, don't know. There's not a lot of answers given to this particular question. I would like to have more answers because just to me, Lord, if you would not have given us Satan, we wouldn't have to go through all this. Now, this brings us to another question that we tend to not ask. Instead of asking, why did God create Satan, knowing that he was going to rebel and cause all of, all of this, why don't we ever ask, why did God create us, knowing that we were going to rebel and cause all this? So, yeah, if we want to eliminate Satan, well, then don't we also want to eliminate mankind who is just as wicked? Because let's be honest, we don't really need Satan to do the things that we do. Now, remember, just because God has made Satan does not mean that he is the author or the reason for why Satan has done what he's done. The Bible says that he made Satan the devil. He made him perfect. But Satan decided to on his own to rebel just like we do. Well, God knew that. Could God have just simply made a devil, a Lucifer, not a devil, but Lucifer to where he could not rebel? Well, he could have, but again, we don't know. We can sit and try to counsel God, but that won't go so well. Remember, ask Job. He says, when the when the Lord ad, actually responds to Job in Job 38, he says, who is this that darkens counsel by words without knowledge? And then he says something that's got to be frightful to Job. He says, now gird up your loins like a man and I will, and I will ask you and you will instruct me. That's not a good look. That's not a good idea to sit and try to counsel with God and go back and forth. Speak to me, try to counsel me. No, that's not going to work well. All we know is he's God and his ways are so far removed from ours. Unlike ours, he's completely different than what we are. There are a couple things, however, that need to be remembered. Though he has created Satan and Satan has brought about a lot of this destruction, and though we have done so as well, uh, because of Satan and sometimes even without Satan, we just do things. Remember this, though, how God, this all loving, all knowing, this perfect and loving God, how he feels about us. Remember, it's brought up in Psalm 8, 4. He says, what is man or who is man that you take thought of him or you are mindful of him and the son of man that you care for him and you have made him a little lower than God uh, and you crowned him with glory and majesty. You make him to rule over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. And so he's speaking in this case, I believe he's speaking about mankind. Well, why? Well, again, though it's a mystery why he loves us so much, I think it's also comforting to know that he does love us so much. And even though that Satan is out there, the devil is walking around like a lion seeking whom he may devour. He's also being used by God. God will even use him to even help us, those that are not in Christ and those that are in Christ. Even the example in 1 Corinthians 5 of the, the sinning man who is sleeping with his father's wife, the Bible says, turn him over to Satan, deliver such one to Satan, uh, so that his spirit may be saved in the day of, of, of the Lord, so that this person can possibly come to Christ. So he'll even use Satan in many cases, one, because, and only God knows how he does it, why he does it, but oftentimes these hardships come about. He uses these things to kind of grow us and mold us and bring us closer. Why is all this happening? Honestly, we don't know. We'll never know on this side of earth. Now, we get to heaven, we get to glory. We'll be able to ask him. But just be thankful. One, be thankful that you could ask a question and not know and be and be humble enough to say that I'm glad to not know and not force an answer there. But also be grateful for the fact that he created you and me and everyone else. 
and that he created us to have a relationship with him and then be thankful that you do have a relationship with him. And why does God want to have a relationship with us? We don't know, but we're grateful for it. Amen.